You hold my cool star while I greet the funk with my mom. The incredible, lyrical, and original. You hold my cool star while I greet the funk with my mom. The, the, the incredible. You hold my cool star while I greet the funk with my mom. The, the, the incredible. You hold my cool star while I greet the funk with my mom. The incredible, lyrical, and original. of Ikoror, truthfully speaking. So, we've been hired out. We need to bring a ruby on our, on the Koa, maybe. But, I've been talking about the Koa hard out. And, uh, we want to bring some Koa out for today, for this Great day, while well, our people down in Wellington putting on the mighty battle. Shout out to you guys. Um, you know, and there was um, a young young fella down Tower Street in Kaipoi got stabbed up to death at a party. So, all praises. Murderers and stuff happening in our little neighborhood. So that's standard. So, uh, let's get the book of Hebrews 8 verse 8. Chapter 8, verse 8. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant. A new covenant. That's what we're here for, is for the new covenant. And the new covenant will um, tell you what the cover is. Read, with the house of Israel. With the house of who? With the house of Israel. And, and with the house of Judah. And with the house of Judah. So we're going to make a new covenant with the whole Ikaro, the North Island and the South Island of all the Hapu. Keep reading. Verse 9. But according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, so it's not going to be exactly the same how it was in the old cover because you can't keep that cover. It's pretty hard and difficult to be honest. So we're going to have a new covenant. Read it again. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers. But not according to the covenant that he made with our fathers. So this covenant is a new covenant, a new contract which will have cover in it. And this kawa won't be like the kawa that she's going to keep in the ancient days. It'll be like the kawa we can keep now. Because right. I know a lot of, lot of you love your kuna. You'd rather eat kuna than serve the most high. So it'll make this easier and more, more easier for the people uh, to eat on until the days get harder. So can we go to... Proverbs 28 verse 4. Proverbs 28. 
This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 4. They that forsake the law praise the wicked. So if you forsake the law, you praise the wicked. But such as the Lord, as keep the law, contend for them. Now this is how you contend with the enemies. This is how you fight against the rulers and oppressors, by keeping the law. And if you don't want to keep the code, then you are pretty much helping the oppressors oppress us. Read it again, my brother. They that forsake the law, praise the wicked. They that forsake the law of the Most High Power, praise the wicked. But such as keep the law, contend with them. So that's how we contend against all the wicked inventions of all people who try and oppress our people. Read that for the brother. Proverbs 28, verse 4. They that forsake the law, praise the wicked. But such as keep the law, contend with them. Yeah, they must go. If you want to, if you want to contend against the oppressor, as you wear the father's name, you want to oppress, you want to fight against the oppressor. Keep the commandments, keep the power, keep the fire burning. Wear your beauty with the father's name. All right. Hold up. Yeah, so we're teaching now how the, the benefits of the koa is. You know, the koa actually is what is the best weapon against the oppressor. Because if we start keeping the koa, we'll start loving each other again. That's right, brother. That's the truth. All the wickedness in my heart is gone. All I care about is my own people. And I'm here to war for my people. And I'll keep the color for life forever and ever, even forever. I'm sick of the oppression. So, um, can we get Proverbs 3 and 1? Proverbs chapter 3 verse 1 My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. What does the Lord say? Keep my commandments. That's right. We're here to teach our people to keep the Kirkawa voices. That's the way to heal our nation. To keep the color. And this is a son. Oh, this is a father. This is what a father should tell his son. Read. Verse 2, for length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. That's what the Kawa will add unto you. Long life, peace, harmony, wisdom, understanding, strength. Can you keep reading? Verse 3, let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. Right. One more. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon thy, the table of thine heart. Can we get you a precept? So that's what we want to do. Is bind the cover to our heart. Wear it. Live it. Let, let not get deceived by other uh, wicked inventions. Do righteous judgment according to righteousness. Use or know for your common sense. The color is connected to com common sense. So all the laws of common sense is part of the color. Yeah. So all the brothers are here, that's cool. Now, but um, I'm going to continue. I think it's verse 4. Proverbs 3, verse 4. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. That's what happens. 
because you're being the light unto the world, you're keeping the color of righteousness. All the wicked people will understand that you're righteous and they will have no choice but to leave you alone because you're too good for them. They're gonna they gonna they gonna start happening now. They're gonna start paying attention. My son, big for time. Proverbs 27 is and 17. Proverbs 27, 17. Iron sharpeneth iron. Yeah. So a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. That's right. That's what we are here to do is to sharpen our people up. Get them um, ready for war and the war is, is with the knowledge and understanding and wisdom so today we're going to give you the wisdom and understanding of our power so can you read that my brother read it again. Yep. Proverbs 27 17 iron sharpeneth iron so a man Sharpen them, the countenance of his friend. That's right. So we are here to sharpen everybody up with the color. Now we're going to read Hebrews 8 and 8. Book of Hebrews, chapter 8, verse 8. For finding fault with them. Finding fault with our ancestors and with our people. Read. He said, He said, the most I said, a what? Be, behold, behold, the days come, today, it is now. Be saith the Lord, saith the whole heart, be, when I will make a new covenant, a new covenant, when I talk about, be, with the house of Israel, the house of Israel, be, and with the house of Judah, the house of White Tahamon, be, not according to the covenant. That are made with their fathers. Not like the color that Maui gave us to our Tupuna. We're here to give you a new color. Free. In the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of slavery and bondage. As we know as a Maori God. He got us out of that. And that's why we're here. So we're here to teach the power. So go to 28, Proverbs 28, verse 4. Book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 4. Read. They that forsake the law, praise the wicked. So if you forsake the color, if you want to forsake the color, you praise the wicked. You let the wicked oppress our people by praising, by not keeping the color. Read. But such as keep the law, contend with them. That's how we contend against the oppressors. We did it. We did it. Contend against the oppressors with the power. Read that one more time for the people. They that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. That's how we contend with them. And we are our head to sharpen these up by knowing this color. So the most high asks us a question. It's in uh, Psalms 9, 94, verse 16. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? So who will rise up for the most high? Who will rise up for righteousness and truth? Who will keep the color free? Oh, who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? So who's going to keep the color? 
Who's going to rise up for us? We are. The Kaitani for Modi are. We're out here to sharpen you up. We're the brothers to sharpen up brothers. We're that steel that can sharpen up steel. These are all blunt at the moment. Rusty. You have forgotten thy way. Can you give me a book of uh, Isaiah 58 and 1? We'll just give them one very good fight. Cry yeah. aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and shew my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. So we are here to cry aloud, spare not. Lift up our voice like a trumpet, and we're here to show the house of Israel, on Ezekiel, and the house of Jacob, their sins and their transgressions. And we're going to go to First John three and four. This is the book of John, chapter 1, verse 3. Chapter 3, verse 4. Chapter 3, verse 4. Whoever committed sin. So, they all call us sinners. So, he's got to know what sin is. Read. Transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So, sin is the transgression of the law. The most high arts who will rise up for me to contend against the evil doers and the most i told you if you want to contend against the evil doers keep the co-op because that's how you contend against the evil doers read it one more time whoever so ever whosoever committed sin transgresseth but also the law for sin is the transgression of the law sin is the transgression of the law so by us not keeping the co-op we're in sin. And that's simple. If you don't want to be a sinner, come back to the co-op. So we need to keep the co to contend against the wicked inventions. So I'm going to John 9 verse 31. Oh, chapter 9, John 9. What about front on? Oh, hey. Book of John, chapter 9, verse 31. Hold on. Yep. Three. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. So, he who forsake the Lord, who if you are transgressed the law, if you're not keeping the law, and the churches teach that we're all sinners, because we don't keep the law, read this. But if any man be a worshipper of God, and doeth his will, whom he heareth. Start again. Now we know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshipper of God, and do it as well. Him be here. So the most high hears our voice. The most high hears our cries. Our men right here because keep the color. And, and we're not sinners no more. Convince, convince us of sin. Okay? And if you're a sinner, the most high doesn't hear your voice. You think you have a relationship with the Creator and you're a sinner? You don't even keep His commandments and His color? Then you have a relationship with him? Excuse me, mate. Can I, uh, can I ask you a question? Um, how do you feel about the great wrong and murder and the oppression that your people have done to my people scattered out the four corners of the earth? Terrible. Terrible. So, what do you think should happen? Uh, um, 
No, but I think it's one of the most high things. Yeah, and uh, go to uh, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. I'll give him some milk. The Lord is going to tell you who we are, and then, then you're going to understand who you committed crimes against. Yeah. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. These are the words which Maui spake unto all people at all. So these words, the Bible, are the words that Maui, who is called Moses, most shame, that's really Maui. These be his words that he spoke to all the children of Ikaro. And go to Deuteronomy 7, verse 6. Deuteronomy 7, verse 6, for thou art and the holy people. So he's talking to us, say the Israelites. Read. And he said, We're the holy people, the holy means separate. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. So the Creator chose us. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people so unto he, himself. He's chosen us to be a special people unto himself. So it's a one on one relationship that we have with the Creator and with nature and with the spiritual and vital things of this world. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So he's put a ranking system. He's put us as the heads and governors and kaitiaki for that, the guardians of this earth, of this place. He created us to be the guardian above all what? All people on the face of the earth. So he's put a system up. Just like how there's a system in every government needs an order and ranking. And all things be done in order and decency. Now the creator has put an order and decency on the planet. He really the Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people. Read. For ye were the fewest of all. Until this day, there's still the smallest, smallest nationality on earth. Did you get the book of Isaiah 41, verse 1? No. This is the book of Isaiah. We are children of Ikuro. Chapter 41, verse 1. We remember our heritage now. Keep Read. silence before me, O islands. So the verse high is talking to the islands now. Go to um, verse uh, 9. Thou, whom I have taken from the ends of the earth. Now to the islands at the ends of the earth. Read. And called thee from the chief men thereof. Called thee from the chief men thereof. Yeah. And said unto thee. And he said unto us. Read. Thou art my servant. We are the servants of the most high God. I have chosen thee. And not cast thee away. The Most High hasn't chosen, hasn't chosen anyone else but our people. Yeah, so how do you feel? And what should happen to those who oppressed God's chosen children? What is it? Now in Buddhism, now in, yeah, yeah, we understand that. We understand that because Buddha is from the tribe of Judah. He's an Israelite like us. And he went out there and taught uses the same philosophy we're here to teach you. Now in Buddhism, is there a thing called justice? And karma? Yes, there is. So I'm asking you, what's the justice that should happen to the oppressors that oppressed? We'll go to um, Revelation 13, verse 10. Revelation. Now we'll go to the one we read this morning. We saw the other one. We're just going to tell you the. Um, the judgment that's going to come upon Esau, the forefather, and that's the nation that Jesus called. This is Obadiah chapter 1, verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. So, our house, soon we're on fire, means we're in the whole four corners of the world. Everyone you've ripped off their village. Read. And the house of Joseph, the flame. That's my house we're talking to you right now. House of Joseph. Read. And the house of Esau for stop. Your house. It's going to be for stubble. Read our Revelation 13 verse 10. So you talk, we're talking about reincarnation, eh? Because we believe in regeneration. 
So it will tell you we're going to be reincarnated. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 10. He that leadeth into go, captivity. Go to 9. Verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. You have understanding? Understand this. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So you led our people into captivity. This is captivity right now known as oppression. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. He's killed with us with the sword. The word is the sword. So we're going to kill you with the word too, the S word. And it's called justice and judgment. Read it again. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So you're going into captivity. And if you learn the Bible, it says for a thousand years. Yeah, so Buddha's just, just, so Buddha is judgment for you is a thousand years sleep for the great God and Buddha. But it will only happen, peace will only come when that happens. Thank you very much. Did the Most High say we're equal? Come on. Well, friends, with the Most High. I have to give him. Ah, oh, nah, nah. He got his judgment. That's it. Now he knows. He'll be re because he bought, believes in Buddha. He believes in Buddha, so Buddha will reborn him in the slavery. Buddha will reborn him at, as an insect. And, yeah, a thousand years of getting squished. Now, look up on the phone with Polo. He's turned into Karen. <laughs> Go to um, uh, Isaiah 28 verse uh, 11. Book of Isaiah chapter 28 verse 11. For with stammering lips. So with stammering lips. i got to bring this one out all the time. Stammering lips means to mock. So with stammering lips read. And another tongue will he speak to this people. So you didn't expect to get you all thought uh, a nice humble guy is gonna come out and talk to you. You didn't think you're gonna get a stupid with stammering lips. A fellow who'll just tell you the truth and mock you. Yeah, but I'm not here to beat you up physically. I just wanna um, test your spirit. And the righteous shall be judged, and the wicked shall be judged. So I got another one for that. Uh, Ecclesiasticus 12, verse 6. Continue with the lesson. Book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12, verse 6. For the Most High hateth sinners. So the Most High hateth sinners. And who? We pay vengeance unto the ungodly. The ungodly, though, because the Most High gave, gave Christ, right? Gave His Son to let us repent from our sins. But then there's the ungodly. Those fellows who just don't care about you or I. They got the I am the one syndrome. Yeah. Well, they're going to get punished. Read that again, brother. Read the Atticus, chapter 12, verse 6. For the Most High hated sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly. Tune into YouTube, boy. Uh, Kaitani Fire TV. Can we go to Exodus um, 20 verse 1? This is the book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 1. And God spake all these words saying, Sorry. And God spoke all these words saying, What? I am the Lord thy God. He is the Lord our God. 
which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So if you want to get out of captivity and bondage and oppression and a, in a low state of mind, the Lord thy God gets you out of that place. As he has always said, he's already done it before, he's going to do it again. Read verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Don't have no other teachings or try and get any other adoption before the Most High. So don't get your milk from other nations or nationalities. You ain't saying the same thing I'm telling you. Read. Thou shalt not make unto thee. Get it, get it for Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything. Yep. That is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath. Don't get the I am the one to read. Or that is in the water under the earth. Yeah, you ain't your you're human. Read. Verse 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Don't bow down to nobody but the most high. Read. Nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. Where do you think we get our jealousy from? From our father. He's jealous too. Read. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Don't hate the most high, because they'll put a curse on you. Read. Chapter 6. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Yep, that's right. Keep reading. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. So, every single church is taking the, the Lord's name in vain. When you take it in vain is when you're using, it, using the Bible for wicked um, inventions. Everybody's trying to find the devil's Bible. No, the devil's reading the same Bible I'm reading. But he's using it deceitfully and wicked. Not righteously. He's not telling you the truth. Read that one again. Exodus 20 verse 7. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. For the Lord will not call the guiltless that taketh his name in vain. That's right. So don't take the most high's name in vain. Every church I can mock because they're guilty of lying upon the most high's name. They've taken it in vain. So I can cut all the churches up. Once you start telling lies with the Most High's word, you've taken it in vain. And don't ever have doubt with them. They've taken it in vain. He's not a liar. Keep reading, brother. Verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. So remember the Sabbath day. That's in the top ten commandments. Remember the Sabbath day. To keep it holy. Keep it separate from all other days. As you can tell, this is a Sabbath moon. If you knew the color, the color will tell you right now is a Sabbath moon. And right now the, the weight of the world gets hard. You've got less energy, less morale. You're a bit down. But if you knew the color, you'll know how to walk through it with peace. Read. Verse 9. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But you got, you got all week to do whatever you want. But this one day is holy, it's separate, set apart. Read verse 10. But the seventh day is the seventh of the Lord thy God. That's right, the seventh day is the seventh day, so keep it holy. Read. In it thou shalt not do any work. So this is what you do on the on the holy seventh day. No work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant. Nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger, that is within thy gates. So make sure everyone in the farm keep that day holy as well. If you're the man of the house, step up. Read my brother. Verse 11. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the seventh day and hallowed it. And that's how we remember the creation by the story. If we keep doing this practice, we will never forget the story. Okay? 
Everything's holy and it's a memory. Read. Verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother. Honor thy father and thy mother. Read. That thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. That's right. Honor your mum and father. You know, you don't want to get the food. Usually the mum and dads these days are kicking their kids out. So honor them. So they don't get you don't get the food. Honor them by doing the works of the most high. Honor them by keeping the Sabbath day holy. Read my mother. Verse 13. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not murder. Read. 14. Thou shalt not commit adultery. No committing adultery. No hoes in our kingdom. Fifteen. Thou shalt not steal. Don't be stealing of one another. Read. Sixteen. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. You already know that. Stop making up lies against your people. Read. Seventeen. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Nor his manservant. Nor his maidservant. Nor his ox. Nor his ass. Nor anything that is thy neighbor's. So you don't want to be wanting other people's shit. Pretty much what the most I say. Stop wanting other people's shit. That calls Tim Tim Sis when they say where's the fight from mouth to get it all. Come here, sis. Who's Ian Karate? Who's the other one? Who's ill? What does the word Can I prove something to you? So, so where can I learn about ill or anything? Right? Where can what does the word do? So, uh, my just read something. Okay, now the word ill means I know. E is the inner being, or that's the title of the creator's name. Now, where did he go? Where did we come from? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about the Bible? What have I told you? Where can I find this word? Chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which follow you. Speak unto the Lord. So these words, what? So you can speak to who? Unto 
So we can't help them. Whatever you say, you're a liar. Can you get um? Can you get um? Numbers. Who's your cover? Uh, I'll see you. Uh, numbers. Sorry, fifteen plus fifteen. So I'll show you a cover that you're meant to keep. Numbers fifteen. Speak unto the children of Israel. I'm speaking to you. And bid them that they make fringes in the borders of their garments. This is called cover. Read. Throughout the generation. How long? Throughout the generation. How long? Throughout the generation. What does that mean, sis? See, you don't listen to the Father. Read that again. Speak unto the children of Israel. And bid them that they make fringes in the borders of their garments. Throughout their generation. How long? Throughout their generation. forever. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of food. Can you go to Matthew 5 verse 17? Let's go see what Christ says. Start at 18. 5. No, no, we'll let Christ speak. I don't know. I'll speak because my fruit. What if you have it in you? 5 verse 17. This is Christ. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. Think not that he's come to destroy the law. All the prophets. All the prophets, the Old Testament. Read. I have not come to destroy, but to fulfill. He fulfilled what was written of him as to die on the cross. Be greedy. For verily I say unto you. So he verily he says unto you, Jesus. Read. Two. Heaven and earth pass. So heaven and earth pass. One jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all is fulfilled. So you've got to still keep the commandments until this very day. You're a liar. Can you go to um, Isaiah 41? Isaiah 41. Why, why can't you just go, yes, I am? I'm sinning. I'm breaking God's power. No, because you said, yeah, because you told me you have a relationship with my father. And it says, but no, it said that he who say us, I know him, and keep the keep the God's commandments is a liar. You don't have a, would the most, why would the most high have a relationship with a evil person? Yes, I'm not lying. Convince me of sins. Co-op. Co-op. No, you see. Co-op, co-op, co-op. Yeah, I know. It's the devil. I'd like to speak so. Can you read um, Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3? 
Now, nah, see, the sister has to recognize. This is Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. Read. The ox knoweth his owner. The ox knoweth his owner. And the ass his master's crib. Even two dumb animals know their, who their master is. But who? What? But Israel doth not know. But Ikara don't know. Read. My people do, doth not consider. They don't even care. They don't even consider. They want to keep praying to the golden calf that gives them no wisdom understanding. The one that didn't get them out of captivity. We come from Hawaii. Hawaii. Simple as that. Eo is one of the houses in the 12 realms of Hawaii. If you learn about Hawaii, there's 12 realms in Hawaii. And Eo is one of the houses, just like there's 12 houses of Israel. And Joe is one of the houses. Same thing, different time. There was an Eo Wananga. And at the Wananga were the 12 heavens. Each house of the tribes of Ikaro. Stop worshipping us. We're not the God. We're not Creator. As my name is Eo, I'm gonna say I'm not the Creator. I come from the everlasting breath of life is Ha Wa. And Ha Wa is the Eo. It knows. Eo means I know and it's a title. The Creator's name is not a title. It is what it is. It is the everlasting life. The creator of life itself. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna continue with the lesson. I try the bro has been very humble. I was trying to be humble, but we're gonna continue with the lesson. They just I don't want your blessing. I want a sacrifice. I want a lamb from each house. Please go tell your men that the Prime Talifa needs to. Proverbs 28 and 1. Ah, uh, yeah. Nah, nah. Nah, believe me. Thank you. 